Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a Beaumont, 10 years old here on my cask and it's a, well, it's a leftover. Um, this is a bottle from the travel value, it's a full liter, it's 46% ABV for a full liter, it's quite rare and it's priced roughly at 80 euros, dollars, pounds. And there have been a series of Beaumont whiskies, uh, which were called Devil's Casks. And uh, the series, I think, consisted of three bottles and they showed extreme, well, intensity and, of course, quality. They were high proof and probably cast strength. And, uh, well, they were incredibly expensive and uh, they sold to collectors as well as connoisseurs and they were gone really fast. And this one is uh, was seen on the travel value shelves and uh, was, from my point of view, uh, quite a bargain because it was there to, yeah, to help satisfy the needs of the customers which weren't able either to pay those high prices for the devil's casks or uh, which missed to have the all of the devil's cast. So this is a, well, a last chance. And they write here, a unique fusion of rich fruit and dark chocolate with a devilish tang of cinnamon and sea salt. Inspired by the devil's cast series, limited edition. A marriage of finest Oloroso sherry and wine casks that means Oloroso Sherry is very uh, fruity and brings nuttiness. And the wine cask, well, depends on which wine was in those casks and how fresh they were. Typically, those brick casks are used for not more than a year. So there's a lot of uh, aromas coming from those casks. <clears throat> A marriage of rich Oloroso sherry butts and red wine barriques. Barriques have typically 240 to 250 liters. It's quite half of a Oloroso sherry cask. This surprising whiskey is inspired by the spiced chocolate depth of the Devil Cask series with a tangy fruit twist in the tail. On the eye, it's deep crimson gold Breathing in aromas of damson plum and nectarine laced date oil. <sighs> nectarine laced date oil. Yeah. Uh, with sandalwood and the winter spice. Sip to discover the taste of black sherry, sherry, the fruit, and dark chocolate with baked blood orange progressing to smoked chili jam. Savor the long tasting, no, lasting finish of black currant and baked mango. Baked, I never had baked mango. Cinnamon and smoked sea salt. Wow. Unfortunately, Beaumont still adds color to its whiskies. Not all, and not the expensive ones, but no idea. <clears throat> A little bit of smoke, not too much. What's this? Haha. The cork is good. Yeah. Probably a little bit of the cork which stuck to the glass. Yeah, the cork is it's a really good one. Hmm, seems that I need a little higher one. <laughs> Definitely a bow more. This sherry influence together with the smokiness, not the very intense smokiness, but the mild middle smokiness of Beaumont. 
wonderful. And in the back, there is a wood component, probably this sandalwood. And those winter spices, yeah. The plums, no, sorry, not yet. Prune plums are typically too, or a lot more sour than this one, what I have here. It's, it's more fruity and sweet. But the sherries, the smell of sherries, yeah. really smooth in my mouth 46 percent yeah and now the dark chocolate appears mm -hmm. those oranges blood oranges yes as well spiciness from the oak yeah and smokiness slightly covering my mouth more and more from second to second long after taste and this baked mango, no, <laughs> sorry. A wonderful, full, complex, rewarding. So even when the price is, is quite steep, it carries an eight statement and you get a full liter and you get 46%. So you get something for your money. I'm not that sure which wine casks were used, if they, those were European oak. Yeah, the, the intensity of the oak is, is big, yeah. But there are no ex-bourbon casks in it, so the color should be close to, to real. And yeah, this black currant, not that sour as red currants, but yeah, probably free is incredible good. I think there's a successor out on the market in the travel value as well. Um, there's an 18 years old from the travel value. I will have that quite soon here in my cask. And there's another one, I think 10 or 12 years old, or no, it lacks an eight statement, but shows extremely uh, chosen casks as well. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned as always, and feel free to share this video with your friends.